Hello, everybody, everybody in the entire world. And also, hello to everyone on the planet Mars, because Mars, I've heard, they really like their album covers on Mars. So, welcome everybody to Heavenly Album Covers on a post-it note, a real small post-it note. And we're going to look, we actually are looking right now at an album called Nine Beats to the Bar. And we're looking at a bar scene here. It's The title is kind of a, a bit of wordplay, or perhaps it's a pun, but I don't think it's a pun, but it might be a pun. And we're in this bar setting with five people and this fellow's arm is also part of the, the composition. This album is on um, Hollywood Records, which put out a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, cheerful, upbeat, uh, pop, um, big band kind of dance, um, boogaloo kind of music. And uh, this is a nice, simple label. They used uh, pretty much the same logo, but with different uh, color backgrounds. And this album is by The Benet Hallberg, comma, Nisei Engstrom and Reinhold Svensson trios. So I'm not sure if this is two trios or three trios on one album, but there are many trios on this album playing music. And this is a high fidelity recording with full polyphonic sound. I think high fidelity recording was one of the best fidelity recording um, formats of any time and to have polyphonic sound on an album like this was just unheard of this is a 33 and a third long playing album record and so let's examine this scene we have a woman person here she's wearing a big kind of a lollipop colored uh, dress i suppose maybe it's a skirt um, this man has got his hand right here. I'm not sure what he's hiding, but he looks a little bit suspicious. And he has a tremendous nose, which is all right in certain circumstances. And he's got a really great tie. It's kind of blue and red. The Hollywood Records um, blurb is right here, kind of on his arm. And this fellow is also wearing a watch. You can barely see it. And we have this woman with the lollipop colored dress or skirt, and she's um, getting a drink poured for her by this uh, alleged bartender. The bartender is wearing a white bartender suit and a tie, a nice shirt. His hair is uh, perfectly cropped and he looks very intent on um, pouring the drink. Let's look at his expression here while we're here. He just looks very happy and um, he looks happy in knowing that he's um, doing a service for this woman here. And the woman is, she's got her eyes closed. She's kind of laughing and uh, maybe she's thinking of her evening that is going to happen with this gentleman who has his hand down here with the watch. And I'm not sure what these two people in the background are doing. They, this man is obscured and this woman is also, she has a similar expression as this main woman here. They're both kind of closing their eyes and half smiling. Um, the lettering up here is really nice. It's a little bit off kilter um, to um, further illustrate the quirkiness, the wackiness and quirkiness of this scene. And um, there's nothing else that's uh, that really stands out to me. Um, there's a drink here, like a Mai Tai or something. And um, this woman is just, is just um, looks like she's having a drink. She's wearing um, at least one glove. She might be doing the Michael Jackson thing, but um, I think you can see a hint of another glove here. And everyone looks happy. They're in a cheerful bar scene. And uh, there's some strange object. It's like round. I don't know, I have, I get the feeling that these folks are on a cruise together. Maybe this, maybe she picked up him and they're on a cruise and he's looking right at the bartender. He's, 
has some sort of secret knowledge with the bartender. And uh, I think the bartender is in on the whole, the whole deal here. Let's look at uh, the flip side of nine beats to the bar. And there's not much happening. Lots of um, little blurbs, little text, paragraphs of other albums on the Hollywood record label. There's some important information on how to play a record because um, very few people by the, the late 1950s were able to figure out how to play records. And here's some other artists on Hollywood records. We've got um, Dick Hames, Peggy Mann, Inez Carrillo, Clayton Collier, Alan Roth's Orchestra, the Glenn Osser Mixed Chorus and Orchestra, and the Chicago Theater of the Air Orchestra, featuring Barry Manilow. And this we have it, there we have it. Out of all things in the world, we have it. And this is nine beats to the bar, we're in a bar, and this is nine beats to the bar. The funny thing is that the music on here only lasts nine beats. It's a very short album.